don't think I need it right now. So I could put it in later, but I think for now I'm gonna go and bypass it. That'll give me a spare pump for now until I get all of the indoor units in. And I might run it a bit with uh, just the one circulation pump that is built into the unit um, and see how much the restriction is with just the one pump. So for now, I'm gonna take out the old pump and bypass it, one that's broken. We'll still have the one that's built into the Tiltrix system or the Tiltrix outdoor unit. Um, so I'll show you what that pump looks like. So this is what we've got here. We've got the circulation um, cut off right here. This is for when you're charging the system. And you've got your, uh, your in and your out when you're clearing out all the air bubbles to the system. And then here you've got this secondary pump. So this is coming from the Chiltrix unit here into the box through the pump and then supplying out to the house. And I've got blue for supply and uh, ignore the red uh, three-quarter inch piping but uh, blue for supply and then red for return so this is going out to the house with cold water and this pump here is not running at all it was throwing me an error code I, I, I gave the troubleshooting off to Tiltrix they sent me a new one but for now I'm going to um, take this pump out take all these extra fittings out and go PEX straight from this three-quarter one one over to here and hopefully I've got enough length that what I'll do is I'll be able to cut off just a little bit of the PECs here and bring this whole system down and be able to connect it with PECs right there. Um, I think I've got enough slack in this system I can do that without having to put a coupler in. So we're going to see what we've got here. You guys get a view of how to <clears throat> take one of these PEX fittings off. I realize this is a little messy because I had the foam all up in here. But you got this tab right here, which you can twist off. It's keeping the PEX strap from slipping open, right? So once I get this tab off, I can just pry up under here and this whole thing will come apart. So let me grab my can opener here. There we go. All right, so now that strap's loose. So I should be able to wiggle this guy, this fitting. Yes, this one is the fitting. Out of the pecs. And you know what? I could sit here and wrestle with that, but in reality, I'm going to have to trim the pecs back anyway because I wouldn't want to reuse this piece here that was already crimped once. So I'm going to guesstimate where the end of this would be. Snip it. That was a pretty darn good guess. If I do say so myself. All right, so we're gonna pull that off. And then while I'm over here and I haven't forgotten, I'm gonna put my new one on. And we'll bring our attention to the other side here. So I've already loosened the clip and I will need to pull this one off. Hopefully it's Hopefully it's not as stubborn. You know what I might should do is just slit that open with my knife. That'll relieve some of the pressure. they're pretty good. All right. 
So now we find out if I've got enough slack in this puppy to make it all the way over. Well, turns out that's all the slack I got. So I think what I'm gonna do, instead of running and grabbing a coupler, I'm just going to discard this piece that runs from the outlet of the chill tricks over to this box. I'll just get a longer piece. So I just need to go grab another, um, hopefully I've got another one inch band that I can redo on that. And then once I got that verified, I'll take this connection off and run a new piece of PEX. got things bypassed so now it's time to recharge the system. So I've now, about now bypassed the, uh, the second pump, I've got it charged up to 45 psi. So I'm good to go to turn this back on and we will see if it's working up to snuff again. <laughs> <laughs> 